Mit Namen ist Nathanael Iselin. Ich bin jetzt Assistent Dirigent bei Euro Symphony Orchester. Ich komme aus Frankreich und ich habe in Dänemark vor vier Jahren. Und ich habe studiert Orchesterdirektion bei dem Kongelge Danske Musikkonservatorium in Kopenhagen. Und auch in Paris, Helsinki und Zürich. Now I will speak, switch to English because that's much easier for me. We are here to take care of uh, interpretation and rehearsing and um, listening. So as for interpretation, we have to, basically it's about making decisions. We have, we, we have the score, the, the, the music written on, uh, in front of us. And a lot of things is written down on the paper, but also a lot of things is not written and we have to choose how to make it. It's a little bit like a poem where you have the text and the words are here, but it doesn't tell you much about how to say the words. Uh, and this is where you have to know about the context and, and, and make decisions about that. And then you have the rehearsing, so it's about organizing and leading rehearsals and concerts so that you can implement your interpretation into the, the orchestra to get them to play it, how you believe it, it uh, should be played. And, and then you have uh, the listening where, because you're there on the podium and you are at a, at a kind of a good spot to hear all of the instruments in a good balance, you can hear um, exactly which instrument should play louder, which instruments should play softer, which is sometimes difficult to hear when you're a musician inside the orchestra. Well, I would say you have to understand what you can or cannot ask of a musician um, and understand what kind of sounds are, are possible. So you have a, a big imagination of what is, how an orchestra can sound. And of course, if you have played instruments, it helps. But it, you can also just do that by, by listening to many people. I think the traditional description for this is that the right hand holds the baton although not every conductor has, has a baton. There's a lot of information already in the right hand, uh, and, and there's not only the tempo, but there's also a lot of musical information. And we, then we use the left hand when, basically when the right hand is not enough, when we need to give a specific information like um, how loud someone should play, uh, a shape of a phrase, um, the, the length of a note, or an information for a specific musician in the orchestra, like we look at that person, we say, you, you play a bit louder, you, you play a bit longer. So that's how we use the left hand. Well, being, doing music every day, whether it is by just reading scores or, or by conducting wonderful orchestras, what a, what a blast, what a chance to be able to do that. And, and, and traveling around, seeing different cultures, different, view on the world uh, on the world is just is just fantastic uh, and being every day next to the greatest works of art and these these geniuses all these composers that are next to us every day is just a, a really a great privilege <laughs>